Why hello there one and all, this is NDM here, welcoming back to another episode of Let's Play Mother 1. Alright, so in the last episode we... Uh, what did we do? Um, <laughs> well I can't even remember. Um, yeah, we went to Snowman, didn't we? And we got Anna, no, Hannah. Um, so in this episode we are going to... Uh, head over to Spookane. We're not supposed to be heading over to Youngtown, which is what I said in the last episode. We're not supposed to be heading over yet. We are supposed to be heading over to Spookane, which is a town that's been abducted or overtaken by monsters. So we need to go over there and investigate. Also, there is quite a lot of stuff that I need to show you that I've done off screen. As you can plainly see, that Danny is now level 24, and Johnny is now level 21, and Hannah is now level 16. So, yes, I did do a fair bit of grinding off screen. Um, also I have bought some new stuff, clearly as well, for Hannah, and, um, I also bought some things for Johnny, too. Uh, if we go into state, you'll be able to see that I bought Johnny a fire pendant. Um, I actually don't know what a fire pendant does, and I haven't really seen any purpose of even buying it, because it doesn't help in the sense of boosting your defense. Um, yeah, it doesn't help in that sense, so if you want to buy a fire pendant for whatever reason, maybe later on in the game you might actually need it, who knows, there might be some enemy that casts PK fire, and maybe Johnny's pendant might be able to reflect that, um, reflect that PK fire back to the enemy, and then take damage to that monster who used PK fire, or Johnny might be immune to uh, fire attacks, so who knows, I'll have to find that out later on as we go along. I also bought Hannah the frying pan, the magic coin, and the gold ring. And the gold ring. So she's pretty good on um, items for now, she's up to date with everyone else, apart from levels of course, she's only level 16, so she's quite far behind. Um, before we head over to Spookane, actually, there is a few things that I need to do in Magic Hand. So, we are going to make a trip over to Magic Hand, and something's just appeared, so hang on a second. Stupid windows and tabs popping up. Okay, so, the first thing in Magic Hand that we want to do, I should have done this ages ago when we got Johnny. Um, I just watched, because now that I'm watching a video guide, I know what I'm doing now, so... We are going to speak to this uh, cat thing. I am a swimming cat. Have you heard of a magic candy that gives strength and power to help to help this child? So you say no here. The boy with glasses can surely use the candy. So now that Johnny's now got the magic candy, you can either get it. You can either give it to Danny, Johnny, or Hannah. I think, but um, I'm just going to give it to Johnny because. Uh, yeah, just being truthful to the game's, um, expectancies, or whatever, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to head over to a random house, a lone house that's not connected to any other buildings, so we're going to go in here, and this guy will give us, um, Ocarina. Ocarina? What, we're turning into Link now? We're going to be playing the song of Storms? <laughs> The Ocarina of Hope is finally completed. Oh, it's not called the Ocarina of Time. This melody can now flow out from it. Do you want it? Yes, I do. Do you want it? It's yours, my friend, for only 10 rupees or whatever he said. Uh, or if only you give me enough rupees, I think he says that, actually. Um, so yeah, Johnny's now got the Ocarina. So what the ocarina does, it works like the sound stone in Earthbound, it lets you play the melodies, so we're going to have a listen. The ocarina played on and on. And as you heard the beeps there, they're like the missing melodies um, that we need to get. So every single time that I get a melody now, I'll basically play it on the ocarina so you can actually hear how the tune progresses until we finally get all the pieces together. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle, you know, it doesn't sound perfect without all the pieces. Yeah, well, it doesn't look nice until all the piece pieces are fixed together. Well, the song doesn't sound nice until all the pieces of the song are fixed together, you know what I mean. I'm just trying to use a metaphor, basically. Yeah, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we need to go over to the well and um, go back to the real world. Don't want to be stuck here forever. Don't want to be trapped in Magic Ant for the rest of your life. Oh no, 
Oh no, sir. That's not a life. That's insane. <laughs> In the membrane. Right, so you need to go right, left, left, and then right. So then we can get to, uh, get to Marysville. Even though we have to go through this half house cave to get out. Dad's eyes draw me. Dad, can you give me some money? I need to go and uh, buy some stuff. Can you uh, transact money <laughs> to me and put it into my ATM machine, please? Oh, I'm sorry, I just killed you. <laughs> my bad. I know, I should probably just cut this out. There's no point in showing you it's nothing interesting. I mean, it's like we've been, here, been through here like a million times already throughout this whole playthrough. But considering it's the beginning of the video, you know, yeah, I might as well just keep it in. I don't plan on doing much this, in this episode anyway. I just want to get to Spokane and do some stuff there and that's about it. I don't, I don't plan to progress onto the next dungeon or anything like that. Because yeah, the next main dungeon is going to be daunting upon us um, pretty soon, actually. <laughs> Because the next main dungeon where you get the next melody is in Spookane. <clears throat> I think Johnny's um, pretty close to gaining a level because I remember I turned up my dad on the on the telephone and it said that he was almost close to leveling up. So I don't know how much more EXP is, how much more EXP he needs. A barbot and a stupid little UFO, probably the most common enemy in the whole game so far. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. The little UFOs are probably more common than what snakes were at the beginning of the game, or um, centipedes. Because you know, centipedes were quite annoying um, and quite common. Well, I think little UFOs kind of surpassed that. Yeah, I knew Johnny was going to gain a level. Johnny advanced to the next level. Fire has increased by 2, speed has increased by 2, wisdom has increased by 4, strength has increased by 2, force has increased by 2, maximum HP by 1. Wow, that's kind of lame. <laughs> Alright then, well, great. Johnny just gained one extra additional HP to his stats. That's fantastic. Well, it's better than having nothing, right? <laughs> As they always say, it's better to go with than without. Yeah. Oh, I hate the eagles. Oh, oh wow, I got a smash attack and it did 21 damage. 21, awesome. That's good shit. That's uh, very good. Okay. I, I, I have a feeling that I've already passed the entrance to Marysville. I think I've just like blatantly walked past it, which I have tend to do quite a lot actually. I've done it more than once because well, this path seems to go on forever and you don't know where exactly the fork is going to be. Uh, okay, right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was. It. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, there's nothing else that we need to do in Marysville, there's nothing else we need to do in Magicamp, so we pretty much cleared up the now. This area is all done and dusted, so now we can head over to the train station and take a train ride to Spookin. Uh, actually, I think I might need to transact some money from the ATM machine. Oh boy. <laughs> Which is just going to consume more time. And these wild battles aren't helping out much either. I, mean, I don't really want to get asthma or I don't like the trucks and cars strongest attack is when they blow out that fume of gas. Just like 30 HP of damage. It's really annoying, especially when you get asthma. Because when you get asthma you can't heal or anything in battle, but when you leave battle it's one of those ailments that just disappears. Alright, okay, so to go into the department store and uh, get some money out because I only have ten dollars on me. Yeah, well, that's gonna help me. <laughs> Where do you plan on going with those ten dollars? 
what, the local shop <laughs> or something. <laughs> if you're not going to go on some half assed uh, tropical sunny beached holiday, you know, we ain't going to be doing any of that. We're just going to be going to the store to buy some candy or some, buy some sweets or some, I don't know. Okay, that's enough custom dude. <laughs> Alright, um, $200, yeah, that should do, I, I think 200 is enough to get the Spook Cane. Because Spook Cane isn't the most expensive town to go to, it's Snowman that's the most expensive town, because it's the furthest away from Marysville. And technically the Union Station is Maryville Station, so... God, I, I wonder how much, uh, Snowman costs um, to get to from Youngtown, because Youngtown is further away from Marysville by the looks of things on the map anyway. Well, I imagine Spookane will cost the same amount as Snowman if you went to Youngtown, because it'd be like the same kind of distance from Marysville. This game has so many wild encounters. It's like Pokemon in those caves, Mount Moon and all that, where you find the endless onslaught of Zubat. Well, I don't know how far the train goes through, but you need a ticket to ride. Care to, care to buy one? Yeah, sure, we want one ticket to Spook Ham, which is $75. Well, I didn't really need to extract $200, then I only needed $75. Alright, the eagle has landed. We have arrived in Spookane. A very desolate town, if I may add. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's got jolly music. Very happy music. And there's monsters! We're great! <laughs> We've got monsters in town. Well, actually, we're not in town yet. We're kind of out on the suburbs. The um, outskirts of the area. And they both attack Danny for some strange reason. Surprise, not one of them attacked Johnny or Hannah. Like, Johnny is always like the main target against most enemies. Like, most enemies seem to attack Johnny more than anyone else. It's really strange. Oh no, not a little UFO. Oh no, not two. Oh no, not a barbot. Oh no, not a third little UFO. What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? Well, I'll tell you exactly what we're going to do. We're going to kick ass. Alright, so let's drink some Coca-Cola and uh, get my hype up so I can unleash my energy and destroy every single one of you. <laughs> well, Hannah needs a better weapon than the flying pan. The flying pan only does six damage. It must be the better weapon for her somewhere. Because she's, she's mostly like a spell kind of person, because you know like mages in most RPGs always have like a staff. Well, a staff doesn't do much damage in most RPGs. Um, speaking of which, I've been playing Golden Sun uh, recently. I downloaded it on the Wii U, and it's my first time playing the Golden Sun series. And I can actually tell you, I'm quite, quite impressed. It's a very good RPG. Um, there's so much Final Fantasy going on there. And, yeah, it's mostly, mostly like Final Fantasy, really. Um, nothing like this game. Uh, just because of how hardcore this game is. Um, 
I know like the old Final Fantasies on NES used to be pretty hard. Uh, apparently, I, not, not that I'm saying I played them because I haven't. I haven't played the original Final Fantasy. And uh, we got some Red Snake here. Okay, so basically with these, I heard that they give a lot of EXP, so you want to try and use as much offensive attacks as you possibly can to put runs away, but it didn't work. Ha, ah, he tried to run away. You cannot escape me. Your demise lies within my hands. Okay, just keep on attacking. Uh, you ain't getting away from me, dude. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> You can keep on running, but you might as well just stand down and fight back. Otherwise, you are going to die. Well, you're going to die anyway. Oh, he attacked. Oh, damn, son. And now Hannah's on 23 HP. So we actually managed to kill it. And with that, you get, um, I know you get quite a lot, yeah, about 200 EXP for killing one of those. Oh, you know I'm going to cut this out, there's no point in showing you. Yeah, the reason why I'm going to start cutting out battles now is that we've got a boss battle coming up pretty soon. Um, and I kind of want to keep that all in one fight. I don't want to have to, like, end it abruptly because I think I've recorded for too long. Um, so... Yeah, we just need to find this house and try and avoid all these random wild accounts because they're appearing everywhere. I know there's one of these buildings you can go into. Which one it is, I don't know. Um, there doesn't appear to be any of these, so is it this one? No, you can go in the train station though, which is strange. Well, is there any buildings around here that we can go into? Is there anyone we can speak to? Any life around here? <laughs> Everyone seems to be dead. There is no civilians whatsoever. They've all fleed and run away to avoid the attack of whatever it was. <laughs> That's causing all this stuff. I'm up on the cliff, I don't know why I'm up here. Oh, Danny just grew to level 25. Sweet. Fire's increased by 3, speed is increased by 3, wisdom is increased by 2, strength is increased by 3, force is increased by 3, maximum HP by 1, maximum PP by 1. Well, that was the stupidest level up I've ever seen in my life. Wow, three eagles, dude. Three eagles in one battle. No way, no sir. I ain't doing that. Ain't nobody got time for that, dude. Uh, yeah, I checked for these houses. Not one of them will let you in. So, where exactly are we supposed to be going? Okay. Uh, there's no houses I want to open for me. Why? Well, let's try. Let's check the train station again. See if something's going on inside the train station. Anything, anyone here? No, there is no one in the train station. Right, okay, so I guess we're not supposed to be in the train station then. Um. Hmm. Hang on a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Right, okay, I now know what I'm doing. Right, okay, so we need to go down uh, south of the train station, and there uh, is the rest of the city down south. So, like, there's the north part of the city, and then there's, like, the south part, I guess. And, like, the half point is where the train station is. So, we're going to attack the Red Snake. Um, just keep on attacking and uh, freeze, I guess. Yeah, I might as well keep this battle in, but because it's a rare, it's a rare enemy, so I might as well just show you. Uh, you get any XP and stuff. You never know, Hannah might end up gaining a level or something. Yeah, if I don't have that on the screen, then that's gonna be kind of stupid. Oh, Johnny only does like five damage on that red snake, <laughs> whereas Danny does. Oh, dude! Yeah, uh, you ran away. I was almost about to kill you as well, I think. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? 
Okay, so yeah, now we're getting somewhere, I think. Alright, so let's check. Spookane Downtown West. Spookane Residential East. Alright, so we found ourselves a hospital, but there's probably no one in there, considering that this town is completely empty. Great, Hannah just died, and I tried to check in the hospital and see if that there was anyone in there, but there isn't. Um, and I don't have any PSI that can actually recover her, so... And I'm not gonna bother fighting these, so I'm just gonna fork these slip and get the hell out of here. Uh, save time, you know. <sighs> Yeah, I'm on 69 PP. Alright, okay, so let's go into the hotel. And this is where you're supposed to go, and as you can see that there's this weird looking dude behind the counter. Welcome, twelve dollars for a night, care to stay, so yeah, you say no. Oh well you say yes. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> uh okay. Um was I supposed to say yes? Thank you very much. What oh yeah, I was, okay. He, and he's attacked us, and it's a Starman draws near, even though it looked nothing like a Starman, maybe he was just hiding in disguise, but I'm going to use um, the defense up beta, I think, and um, on both of us, yeah, that should work on both of us, and Johnny doesn't have any PSI, so I'm just going to try attack. Yeah, and defense increased by 110, uh, 67, so that should definitely help out there. Uh, 28 damage is one. So that's good. Alright, okay, so now we're going to do offense up as well. Um, on, uh, preferably Johnny. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to use a ball rocket to. As often as it increased. Now that shouldn't be much either. Oh, Franklin Badge bounced it, yay. What? Oh, wow! Oh my god, dude! What the shit? <laughs> oh my god, you... Well, Johnny, you are awesome, dude. You freaking killed that star man in one hit. Wow, you are so... What the hell? Oh my god, I'm just completely mind blown. I thought that boss was gonna be really hard and I just used all that PSI for nothing. Dude, you are totally awesome for having that Franklin badge. Wow, okay, yeah, I, that, I'm completely mind blown after that. But anyway guys, I'm going to end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. So in the next episode, let's play Mother 1. Um, we shall explore the north side of town because there is apparently um, another area of Spookane that where all the residents have gone to to take refuge. And that's where they're all hiding, so... We're going to go and find that area out in the next episode and speak to some people. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, buddy. See you in the next video. And goodbye.